I am on my way right now to Keen to pick up my order from Fear Not Tarantulas, which was supposed to be delivered to Keen this morning, but I got an, I got a notification that said that they were delivering it to um, West Hatfield, Massachusetts, which is like an hour and 15 minutes from here. So I was like, no, um, and I could not find it a number to call anybody. I got the number to Keen. They didn't have a package, so I could not find the other one. So I called the main company, the main FedEx location, um, 800 number, and they were able to track it, and they said it's on its way to Keen. So I have to do a couple errands real quick, and then I'm going to stop by the FedEx pickup location and hopefully, because they said it's, I got an indication saying it was there, but the indication also said West Hatfield, Massachusetts again. So, yeah. So I am hoping, on my way up there now, and I'm hoping that this will, um, hoping that the package will be there. And um, I will get back to you on that updated and let you know if I finally did get my package and how everybody's doing. Of course, I'm going to do an unboxing when I do get this package. So, stay tuned and um, in a little bit, I will hopefully be doing an unboxing of this package. See you in a bit. So, I just got to um, the FedEx location at the Walgreens here and they had it yay so i um am going to head home and i will be doing an unboxing so we can see all the curtis i'm very excited yay they, it made it here there was a mix-up i will explain it later um when i get home i will um do a little more detailed explanation on everything that happened it was just complete chaos and misinformation with within the whole fedex thing but i will get into a little more detail when i get home so i'll see you then so here I am. I'm home. I have my package. It is here. It actually arrived at the correct location, although the pickup information was a totally different location. It was over an hour away, and that's where I was concerned. And they just, I guess it was a stopover, and for some reason, FedEx checked it in as hold it location, but it wasn't a hold it location. It was kind of going through there to go to where it was supposed to it was a huge mess so but um i got a hold of um tanya if you're not tarantulas and we both kind of did an investigation on our um on our own end and we kind of figured everything out and it turned out um yeah it, and it did end up going to the correct facility you know the, the address that was put on the package was totally right and correct and everything was right so it was definitely 100 percent um, a FedEx thing. So they have some kind of weird glitch in their, in their, um, tracking thing that just told me it was somewhere else where it was actually on its way to going where it was supposed to. But anyway, and the worst thing was I couldn't find a phone number for the location where it was supposed to be. I found a location where I was supposed to be picking it up. I couldn't find a location where it said it was. So I couldn't talk to anyone. I was on the regular 800 line. Of course, somebody from like somewhere of some other country, you know, taking the phone calls, they can't go and look and see if the package is there because they're not there. So it was, that was kind of frustrating, but it did work out. Everything's fine. I have, I have my package. So now I will be doing an unboxing. So this might be a two-parter. So, um, I might be doing an unboxing different depending on how long the video is, or I might just be doing it right now. We'll see. All right, unboxing. I don't know if this is the same video or a different one, but anyway, here's my box. My tarantulas are in here. Everything looks great. And I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can't read without them up close and I wanna see a little, little tarantulas, so I'm gonna need glasses so I can see them better. So, there we go, okay. Okay. And 
First, there is the styrofoam on top and take out. And my receipt that has all my order on it. And everything. There's that. And here is the card from Fear Not Tarantulas. There's that. Okay, now. <clears throat> Let's see. Packing. There's a cold pack in here because it's been, our weather has been nuts. Um, down south, it's been super hot. It's been super hot up here over the weekend. It was really hot, um, hot for New Hampshire. It was like in the high 80s, um, which it was very humid. The humidity was like kind of crazy. Um, but the cold pack is nice. It's still cool. So, and it's been the past couple days, it's been cold. It was like 40 something yesterday morning, which is crazy for June. But, um, you know, so there's cold packs in here because of the, the hot weather and the crazy back and forth stuff. All right. So I'll move this stuff out of the way because I don't need it anymore. And what do we have here? All right. More newspaper. Oh, I got the funnies. Funnies. Good part of the paper. All right. Well, this little package here is. Her answer is so we shall see. Everybody in here, what we got. All right, look at that. It's little. All right, first, Vicularia. And I'm going to probably master this from Rochelle Senny, which is Glyph Makeup. So I've got. Come on. Focus. Oh, it's focusing. Oh, Vicularia. Broshan. Bro Vicularia. Broshan. Brosha Seni. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Brosha Seni. There's a lot of letters, so it's a little confusing. Okay, next up. We have. Oops. A. This is the Salmonius Cambridgei. The Cambridgei. Salmonius Cambridgei. Oh, these are focusing for me. So there's the Salmonius Cambridgei in here, which is also known as the Trinidad Chevron. And. Yay, I finally got myself a Silitheria Metallica. Yes. I got a Metallica, a few Metallica in here. We'll take back in there. Very cool. And then I also got a Brachypilma albopilosum. Um, this is the Nicaraguan form. I got another because you know you can never have too many the elbows because they're like my favorite species. So I have like I have like four. Um, I have two Nicaraguans and two Hondurans. And then another one that I've really wanted is a um, Cerrado gyrus. Or, sorry, um, a Cereo Cosmos elegans. C elegans. So I gotta see elegans in here. It's gonna be tiny, tiny. Um, but I've wanted one of these little heart butts. Little, they have a little heart on their on their butt, and they're just adorable. So I've been wanting one of these for a while. So yeah, here is my little haul here from Fear Not Tarantulas. I got five new slangs here. Let's see, five new slings. 
So we shall be doing an unboxing next and see how all these guys are and get them in their new homes. Um, I have some things set up for them, so we'll pop over into the reptile room and do a rehousing of these little babies. <laughs> 